Hello viewers, this is Bryce. Welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Well, I ended up giving the Talisman to Brad to make him virtually indestructible and the power boost to Kanan to, uh, well, just make her deal some more damage. Um, you could have given the Talisman to Brad a long time ago, but do I really need to make the game any easier than it already is? Besides, I like being able to avoid ambushes and um, getting... Sneak attacks in this game. Because you can actually avoid the encounter when that happens. Unlike Wild Arms 3, where you, know, if you don't have the migrant level to avoid an encounter, it doesn't matter if you ambush them or not, you can't avoid it. So, eh. Whatever. But now we want to head over here. There we go. And we have to use the flare gun. Let's head down these steps. I still can't avoid the encounters in here, even though I'm level 44. I'll give a Necromanicon back to Tim later. Alright, this is annoying. Um, I think that's gonna kill me, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay. Ah, I thought you could do that. Maybe you can't do that. I don't know. Wrong approach. Ah, oh, come on! I hate that. I was perfectly lined up. That's bull. Let's go ahead and do this. And do it again. Of course, you know, the game could just screw me over anyway. Whatever, game. Whatever. I don't think I think that's too far. No, it's not. Okay. There's a way to do it with the blue one. I forget how. That's how you get back. Oh yeah, the blue one's just to get back. That's right. My bad. We're complicating it. Of course. Never mind. I was not overcomplicating it. I knew you needed to do one. I don't know why. I thought you didn't need the blue one. Of course you need the blue one. But you have to go at it from here. Wait. Right. Right. Okay. I get it. Hit this like this. No! Damn it! Who designed this goddamn tool? Why is it so annoying? Really? Who designed this shit? I want to know. This is so ridiculous. Why would you do this? In a game with a camera angle as shitty as this. I'm sorry, but every time you have to use this goddamn this cloak, it never fucking works! Okay. Finally. What the hell do I do now? Go this way. That's right, okay. Now you go like this. Like so. It doesn't matter if you hit that. Are you going to screw this up, Tim? Thank you. I thought for sure I was going to fall off, and I've done that before. It's such a stupid tool. Eh, whatever.
flare gun time. Use that. Huh, nice pattern. I'm sure it won't be important at all. No, no, you gotta memorize that. If you don't memorize that, you're screwed. Well, you'd have to come back. Fortunately, I have the pattern written down. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, some more Baylors. They're annoyingly difficult. And we get another room that's identical. Only this time, we have to light it ourselves with our fire rod. I think it's the last time we have to use our fire rod, actually. So, let's see. Like this. Right. Right, okay. It's it's kind of tricky what you have to do. Because now you have to put these out with your freeze rod. The pattern's easy to remember. It's just the fact that you have to actually... And originally I thought you couldn't actually walk in here. But you can. Oh, and, um, yeah. That happens, too. Which is why you can't walk in there. <laughs> I just confused the game. That's awesome. Alright. Keep moving. Down the steps. Right. Um, right. We need Tim, Maravel, and Loka. Better heal up as well. And we want to equip the Necromanicon. You can equip a meta. Um, not a medicine. Um, what is it there? Hazel Spring, but I don't care. Where's my Necromanicon? There it is. Guess what time it is? If you said boss time, you're right. I'm gonna use Lucky Cards here just because we're so close to the end. Yeah, the bosses in here are really just there to annoy you. They're not there to really be threatening in any stretch of the imagination. Though this guy does have a pretty cool design. want to put status lock on. I don't think the battle will last long enough to matter. Oh, that's what I could have done in the, the uh, optional boss there. You should probably, probably should have done status lock, but I didn't think it would last that long, but it lasted longer than I thought it would. Um, right. Let's have... This guy's weak to electricity. Lightning the left claw. You know what? Marvel might as well cast status lock. Why not? And then she'll use a lucky card. Nothing that hard about this guy. <laughs> then again, he might give you crabs if you're not careful. Wow. Yeah, this battle's not lasting long enough. Status lock is not needed. <laughs> I may as well just kill him. I think he's dead. Especially since I have high spark. Wow!
Yeah, this guy's dead. This guy's very dead. Thirty-six thousand experience. I'll take it. Yeah, we should be level forty-five by the end of the game. That's more than sufficient to beat the game. You can beat the game in around level forty, really. Yeah, let's save. Why not? No reason not to. I don't know what the point of that boss battle was, but whatever. Let's keep going. Stairs are a little bit different looking. At least I think they are. I knew that it's just brighter. Okay, let's keep going. Oh boy. These are encounter doors. You fight three Baylor enemies. Or maybe you don't fight any. Okay, well, that's weird. Um, normally you fight three Baylors. And it's really annoying, but I got lucky. I think they're weak to darkness. I forget. I'm too lazy to look it up. If I encounter an enemy that can inflict instant death, I'll equip um, the Holy Grail again, but I don't think it's necessary. Right now. Not until I encounter um, Baylor again. They like to steal your Mega Berries, but I'll just get it right back anyway. Oh, he failed anyway. Who cares? I've got 15 Mega Berries. That's enough. That's, you, you don't need any more than that. You'd probably get away with 10. That's not even going to hurt me that much. Not with a Necromanicon. Uh. Yeah, that was nothing. That would not even have dealt zero damage with Magic Defense up. That was easy. Okay, let's, um, you can walk over the second door to, uh, skip it, but how do we get that chest? Well, you have to respawn the room. I know it's dumb, but that's, that's what you have to do. How you're supposed to know that, I don't know. Whatever, we get an Ambrosia, and I'm going to stop here for today, so next time we'll uh, continue on. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.